What's up everyone, hope you're having a swell day. And today, I got a few classics from childhood you just might remember. So, let's see what I got. So the first item I have is the Wild, Thor the Wild Thornberry soundtrack. Oh, come on, this movie is a classic. And I do have it, I did show you in a, in a previous video where I came with a whole bunch of Nickelodeon collection or a whole bunch of Nickelodeon DVDs. And so I thought I'd pick up the soundtrack. But I will say, I guess I don't really remember too much of the music, but, you know, the movie's a classic, so you can't go wrong with, with even the soundtrack. Okay, we got 13 songs. Pretty nice. Can't open. Hold on. Open already. Open Sesame. Open E. Is it taped? Oh, I, I think it is. Okay, open Sesame. Perfect. Oh, that's pretty nice. I liked it. I mean, same cover. I mean, same art cover, but still nice. Okay, now I just saw purple with that design. Hey, you like the pictures there? Some more pictures. I guess each one or talks about each song on the on the disc here. I mean, definitely cool to have, or to see. There we go. Yeah, can't go wrong with some, some with some wild thornberries, and even the music's pretty good. Next, we got Ice Age. Man, this is. I haven't seen this movie in a while. Brings back memories. And so I thought I'd pick it up since it's on Blu-ray, so I could upgrade. Yeah, can't go wrong with some uh, Sid there. Isn't this great? You and me, two bachelors, knocking about in the wild? But okay, let me try to open it. Finally got it. I think. Okay, yeah. That's good. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all you really need. Just the disc right there. But you can't go wrong with some Ice Age. I mean, now that Disney owns it, they made, um, I guess, another series that continued with a book. I believe so. But I mean, you can't go. Wrong, you can't go wrong with the first movie. It's always. It's a classic, you know. And I mean, I think the other ones are also pretty good with all the characters, but. Maybe the fourth one kind of goes a little crazy. I don't know. At the end of the day, the trilogy's still pretty good, so can't go wrong with some Ice Age. And next we have The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Oh. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody taking on the Tipton. Taking over the Tipton. There you go. I can't read anymore. But yeah, I mean, I still enjoy some of these um, compilation discs. Can't go wrong with some Disney channels. Some Disney Channel classics. I know. Plus, it's still hard to find some of them, like some of the first seasons. So, I thought I'd pick this one up. And I think this one actually comes with a good amount, like five or six. Oh, wait. It has this on the side. Yeah, but I guess it does say a never before seen episode. It's so say. Nah. Well, maybe on the inside. Okay, you got some advertisement there. A nice shiny disc. Yeah. Sounds about right. 
Okay, here we go. So we got four episodes and then a bonus episode. Okay, five episodes. Okay, that's not too bad, but that's pretty much the average now. So that's why I don't really buy these as much. But you'll still see a few more, you know. Yeah, definitely nice to relive some, uh, that good old time at the Sweet Life. <laughs> and the next item I have is Roly Poly Oli, the Baby Bot Chase. And I know it's for kids, but I grew up with it and it just caught my eye when I saw it. So I thought I'd pick it up. So here on the back. Okay, looks like it comes with a game, a little activity there. Full screen. Um, not my favorite, but that's because, or that's how TVs are, so it makes sense. It talks about that in the movie there. And I think that's the uncle, and there's the whole family. Pretty nice, I remember them. Okay, yeah, just the disc. Makes sense. But yeah, I mean, if you remember Polio, Roly Polioli, then and then, you know, this was one of those movies, this was one of those shows I just, something about it just hit differently, so you can't go wrong with this. Next we have the Never Ending Story 1 and 2, got the double feature there, pretty nice. He doesn't realize he's already a part of the Never Ending Story. And the second movie is the one I had growing up, so I'm kind of happy to have both of them now. And I heard that they are doing a remake, so... Definitely interested to see how that one turns out. It's back there. Oh yeah, you can't remember the part with the horse. and That one really got to me. Yeah, the characters, the story, it was, it was just really crazy. Too bad it ended. Don't you ever say that again! Okay, that makes sense. Since it's on, since it's two movies, they put one movie on each side. Yeah. Yeah, love me some never ending story. And next we have Pikmin 2. And I've actually never played this game, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Definitely nice design. Almost like claymation, a little little dolls there. Pretty cool. And here we go. Oh, so it's two player. Okay, you can't go wrong with that. Now the design that they did for the or the pictures, the little dolls. It's really cool. Yeah. And so... Something's off. Something is very off. That's not right. Okay, so I actually got the case with a different game. It was a crappy game, so I took it out. And then I got Monkey Ball recently. And so, yeah, I mean, never played Pikmin 2. But I did play some Monkey Ball. I was a little disappointed at it. I don't know. Maybe the other games will be better. And the first Monkey Ball game I actually played was was Banana Blitz. There you go. Even though that game gets um, negative to mixed reviews, but uh, even the first game kind of bummed me out. I was expecting more, but I mean, what can I expect? It's a monkey in a ball, and you roll you roll around. So, but uh, hopefully, I can play some Pikmin because now they put Pikmin One and Two on the Switch. So that'd be cool to play to try out. And then Monkey Ball, they did put the, I think the first two or three. They did make a pack and they put it on Switch. Let's just say that. So I still haven't played it and I do have it. So I can play it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess whichever game I try, Pikmin or Monkey Ball, they're pretty good. I would say they're pretty good choices. But uh, I would probably recommend just starting off with, with Monkey Ball 2, unless you really want to try one. But I heard two is a lot better, so. Yeah, so now I got Monkey Ball, and uh, hopefully I can find Pikmin for GameCube, or the, the disc, the Pikmin 2 GameCube disc. But at the same time, that disc is like really expensive. So I'm happy to try them on the Switch. And I guess I could also try Monkey Ball too. Finally, we found Adventure Time. The comic book. We found a comic of Adventure Time. That's pretty cool. I mean, I did show, uh, I think it was season one of it. I didn't really get into it after a while, but uh, from what I've seen, it's definitely, definitely got my, caught my attention. So pretty nice to have a comic book. Oh, 
Oh, looks like there's like two stories in here. All the crazy stuff happening. Yeah, pretty neat. Can't go wrong with some adventure time. Uh, but thank you for joining me, and uh, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.